Hello everybody, this is WildJLG03 and welcome to a very new series that I like to call Myself React Raiding Some Slender Fortress 2 Bosses. Now a lot of people have do notice how yes I've been very gone for a while and today I'm finally gonna be making doing this video because of course I've been raiding and planning on doing this and hope it goes well. Because of course my parents are literally downstairs, hope they might hear me. But uh, yeah, so uh, so yeah, so what I'm gonna be doing this video? Well, I'm gonna be rating up some bosses from zero to ten, from zero to four, which be like bad or worse, and needs a bit of needs a bit some works, or needs to get replaced by another boss. And six to ten would have to be like this is boss is good, it needs to be popular, and wish to be a mod version of it. By the five, it'll be like a normal, like they're normal, they're balanced, blah, 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 and uh, so on. So, uh, yeah, as you can see on my computer screen, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got 11 packs, but also there's a core pack, but we'll be revealing that mm, later. We're going to be revealing that later in a future video once we're done with all of the packs. But, uh, yeah, today we're going to be reviewing. Boss pack number one. So let's get straight into this. Hope and also if you guys do enjoy this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like these. And uh, yeah, hope you guys do enjoy this. And also I'll look, give a good thanks and shout out to the District Zen Discord server for um, letting me help with me so I'll be able to do this. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. All right, so the first boss we're gonna be rain, rain, ranting or raiding, whatever you guys call it, is Lala. Now Lala is a Slendy Tubby boss, and of course acts like like uh has the same thing like Poe Nicomorph, but except Poe Nicomorph is kind of like well if he sees you he chases you. Lala is like an all human boss, and of course would chase you much farther. But of course you could be out It's like she's kind of like a chaser. Some people say she's like a not not a hidden one, but yeah, it's like a chaser or charger, whatever you call it. But yeah. I think this boss is kind of like a 6 out of 10 in my description. Because, yes, this boss is alright. Slender Tubbies are kind of spooky. And, uh, yeah. But, yeah, this is a 6 out of 10. Good boss. Nothing bad to it. Hope it doesn't get replaced. And, uh, yeah. Alright, next up is Bill Cipher. And, yes, yes. Gravity Falls boss. A good boss. And, of course, has ability to shoot fireballs. And... Yes, it might get annoying, but I think the best use of it against this boss is Pyro or Medic. But if you're playing Medic and of course you die, then yeah, you, I guess go Pyro because it's useful. Because he's immune by fire. Now for Bill Cypher, he is, yes, from Gravity Falls. He has the ability to shoot fireballs when he sees you. And of course, the way to be able to defeat him or distract him is by blinding him with the with your flashlight. It might get hard because of course like the um, recharge to blind him again it takes a long few seconds or minutes and uh yeah don't worry don't worry um this boss is good i'll give it a good 8 out of 10 because yeah i mean if this was a mod boss then uh yeah you would have the ability to shoot multiple fireballs like crazy stuff like like how um freaking was his name what, what's his name? The wheelchair guy. Um, yeah, Super Keller. Like, Super Keller shoots his lasers, fake, make freaking Bill Cypher shoot multiple fireballs. But, uh, yeah. But, no, good. 8 out of 10. He's good. He's amazing. I like him. He's, uh, I do love Gravity Falls because I was a good fan of it. And, uh, yeah. All right. So, next one up is Hentai Woody. Now, this boss was an old boss back at, like, 2000 and something. Or, like, 2014 or 13 or 2012. And, uh, you know, this boss... It's kind of like a good, awesome fan favorite. It was like the head of Son of Fortress 2, but then came Yandere Dev, who we done the freaking um, Astolfo Beam Plush and a few other characters. But uh, yeah, no, Hentai Woody is kind of like the original Woody. And of course, there's like different type of Woody bosses, but don't worry, this boss is one of the most fan favorites. I'll give this one a good 9 out of 10, because 
I was gonna give it a ten out of ten because of course, yeah. But uh, I think a nine out of ten would be perfect. But I would also just say ten out of ten because why not? It was a good boss, an amazing boss. I would love to see it. And of course, yes, it's already a mod, but we'll get into that shortly in a future video. But uh, yeah, good ten out of ten. It's good boss. Do a lot of boss creator that made it, and uh, yeah. All right, so next up is Su Su Kumo. Kumoi, aka Tokoyami. Now, yes, uh, my hero academia boss. Oh, devilishly, what wonders do you have in this boss that makes it so, so great? Well, then, Tokoyami is actually like the character from My Academia. He's the bird one. And of course, he has the same blind. And of course, he has the same thing as Bill Cyber. Once you hit him with a flashlight, he'll have a stun when he's blind. But uh, don't worry. He'll, but no, you'll get be able to stun him more, just like how you be able to stun him for his tendency. But uh, no, this boss is actually good. I'll give it a good nine out of ten because, yeah, I do love my academia. I'm a weeb. Don't judge me. I'm weeb, and of course I love anime. So shut up and don't say in the comments that you you weeb. I'm gonna unsubscribe your shit, bitch. Like, I don't give hell if you think that I'm a weeb. I love anime. And don't judge me because I love the good stuff. But yeah, 9 out of 10. Great boss, Diblicity. And we'll hope that there's good bosses in the future. But anyway, let's continue. Next up, Paranoia. Ah, yes. You guys remember back at Disc FF when um there was supposed to be no scary bosses back then. And of course, people get scared a lot. Well, Paranoia actually kind of the bosses that scares people the most which is, you know jump scare when he gets in paranoia is kind of like a stick boy yes two stick legs torso and a white head that looks like the freaking monsters from last of us no wait was it last of us or wait no it wasn't last of us what was that game what was that game it was from fucking not last of us fuck it was the other game with the survivors. No, I'm fine. I'll, I'll explain that later. Alright, so. Um, this boss is an okay one. He does the chaser. I mean, I would put him a good 8 out of 10. Because, no, if there was a mod version of Paranoia, I would I would be like, oh, god damn. He's going to be more spooky, huh? Okay, I, I, I'm ready for the spook. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready for the spook. But yeah, he's good, he's good. Alright, next up is Black Dog. Well, aka Black Monkey. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I won't do any monkey jokes, but, but no, I'm a monkey. <clears throat> so this boss is a Half-Life boss. So if you guys play Half-Life or Half-Life 2, you've seen this monster before, the Black Dog. What he does is, well, he's basically... A well-known chaser or persistent boss. He does chase you a lot, and um, yeah, he yes, a lot of people are mistaken because of course he doesn't look like a dog. He looks like a monkey because of course he has well, you know, just limbs and all. But uh, yeah, you get the picture. Black dog, I think a good seven out of ten because why not? It's good, it's normal, it's creative, and yeah, I like it. Good seven out of ten will make sure that the Boss Creator doesn't write a mean comment in my freaking video. But yeah, don't worry, I'm really positive. Alright, so next up is Quarlex. Now, Quarlex is a big buff boy looking dog creature monster. I don't know what game he's from or I don't know what does he do. But uh, yeah. Anyways, so Quarlex is kind of like a very good chaser boss. I don't know, but yeah, no. Oh, uh, oh yeah, he's also stunned. He's also stunned. So, this boss is stunned by hitting him a lot. Don't worry, he, you could bully him a lot. He's very easy to stun. Just whack him a few times, and he'll stun. But don't worry, he could kill you in instantly one hit or something. But it's crazy. So, yeah, this boss, I mean, it's kind of been like a 8 or 6. But I'm going to say probably an 8 because... No, this, this, I don't have no hate, because this boss is good. I have no bad theories, no bad comments. 
about this boss. Cordlex is good. He's a bit of like the tank from Left 4 Dead 2. But instead, he's more stamina. But yeah, a good 8 out of 10 would have to put him on a good scale. So yeah. Let's continue. Uh, next up, Trevor Phillips from Grand Devil 5. Now, I never played Grand Theft Auto 5, you know, no, no, no. I said it's a high, but, you know. I'm not a big Grand Theft Auto 5, I never played the story mode. Uh, uh, wow, Jay, you never played it? I played it because I'm bad at it. I played fucking Team Fortress 2, where you expect me to play? <sighs> okay, so let's get to it. Trevor Phillips is kind of like a gun box kid. He carries around a weird SMG thing. He sees you, he shoots you a lot, and also throws a nade. But, uh, yeah, this boss is kind of like a good boss. A good old 9 out of 10. He also does a bit of stunning, so that is, that's why he gets a 9 out of 10, because he could stun a bit. Kind of like the, the Chaos Industry Soldiers from SAP. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so, um, yeah, good 9 out of 10 for this boss. It's amazing. It's good. But yeah, okay, so next up is Map High Sniper. Now, this boss, this boss is, oh god, one of the greatest ones. And I wish it was a mod boss because it would be super fast and crazy. So this boss is actually kind of a much crazy. He has a bunch of memes, and of course he's very high with a fucking map, map stuff. I don't know if it's ketamine or something, but yeah, it's actually kind of like that. So, uh, yeah, this boss is fucking crazy. He's amazingly very bit of like a chaser, but of course he could stun him a lot. And, uh, yeah. So I give this one a 10 out of 10 as well, because of course he's, he's amazing. And I wish that the boss creator, oh please boss creator, give him a mod. I would literally enjoy him literally freaking chasing around and killing us in slaughter run events. <laughs> But yeah, no, no, I'd give 10 out of 10 or 9 out of 10, but I'll give it a good 10 out of 10 for that one, too. But anyways, let's continue. We can go to the last one. And last, but not least, in boss pack number one, Billy, Hen Billy Hengrinton. This boy is absolutely one of those favorites. He was in boss pack two, but then it replaced him to boss pack number one because of... of... Maruder and his wolves that just joined pack 2, but they got a place. But, uh, yeah. So this boss, oh, this boss is a proxy boss. Now, this, now what are proxy bosses? Well, proxy bosses are kind of like, when you're in the blue team, you have a chance to become a proxy, and then go attack the red team to go and destroy them. So, yeah, don't worry. You'll be able to kill them, and, uh, yeah, it's easy. It's much fun when you play as a proxy with them, but much fun as playing as a red team. But, uh, yeah, don't worry. This boss is fun. I'll give it also a good 10 out of 10 if it was, if it was a mod, because we have our first ever mod proxy boss. But the first mod proxy boss was actually Hyper Snatcher, Absolute Snatcher, and Cosmic Snatcher. But we'll get into those later. But, uh, yeah, I think that's about it for all of the bosses in Boss Pack 1. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you do enjoy this amazing video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, guys, I'm on J Dog, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, rock on, and stay frosty. Bye, everyone.